Bitcoin has finally hit our big, massive 30,400 target zone, ending with a massive rejection wick back down. I know a lot of people could be viewing this chart right now, very confused, perplexed, thinking, how can I trade this after such a big wick? If I'm looking to short, how can I be shorting with such a big invalidation? What's the next best trade? What's been going on in this market? Well, I'm going to be telling you exactly how to be trading this if you want to profit alongside me. We did profit off of this wick. I did manage to short the high. I'll be talking you through all of that information, how we're looking to take our next trades to continue profiting on this market. So if we head back down below $27,000 to much bigger targets now below us, we're going to be taking every single dollar of profit that this market can offer us. So it's going to be a good one. All I am going to say finally is I want you to enjoy and learn from this video. So put on your listening caps, listen well. I'm going to be sharing a lot of alpha, a lot of very useful trading insights and information that will help you crush this markets and make profits. That's what we're all here for. We're here to trade. We're here to profit. And let's get into the video and technical analysis. So picking off my last video, where I know I've got a lot of people with big happy smiles on their faces because of the morning, while we were trading still back down below $28,000, I came over and I posted Bitcoin about to pump above $30,000 on the ETF news. And I know straight off the bat, a lot of people were confused about this, thinking to themselves, what news? How did you know the news or the fake news? And this was, of course, um, before we had that large move to the upside, recognizing that 30,460 big monthly level, the biggest level that I've had on my chart that I have been waiting months for. This is a level that I've actually been selling to my team. You know, 30,400 is going to be the best short trade. You know, we've been waiting over around three months to short that level after we left those triple highs. Okay. The reason for this was all the way back in July, we left those triple highs that were always ready and waiting for a liquidity grab. On top of that, we obviously had a monthly NPOC and a monthly level. It was just juicy liquidity sat on a very good technical level. So that's what I love in trading. That's what I love. I love big technical levels of confluence sat on massive levels of liquidity. OK, so then the comments of how did I know the news? What about the news? You know, this was obviously posted before the fake news of, hey, everybody, the ETF has been approved and there was a massive pump to the upside. And then it turned out that the ETF wasn't approved and it was a fake news and uh, we got a retracement back down. Let me tell you something very, very important. OK, and that is show me the charts and I will tell you the news. Not only did I know that 30,400 was the best level to short, that I've reminding people remain patient for. This is the trade to be waiting for. But we also saw how the ETF news could pump and, you know, get people excited for an even better short trade entry. For me, it was simple. OK, as soon as we reclaimed that 27,500, it was a simple case of we got to re now remaining patient for higher prices. So it was it was, you know, kind of. For me, it's all on the charts. We obviously rejected locally our Eagle Session NPOC, and that started this bit of a decline in price. But for me, this is a massive buy opportunity, and it's ultra simple. Okay, while we're above twenty seven five hundred, that's a big important support zone. And while we're above it, we've got to be expecting higher prices twenty nine four hundred, then to the biggest level, which was thirty thousand four hundred. Okay, so it was for me simple: no short trades on this decline looking for higher prices to come. What I loved about this was we also slightly front run when we hit that Eagle Session NPOC, the big psychological 28K. So it was just extremely unlikely that we were just going to fall down from here. OK, and that's why I made it very simple and obvious to my team exactly what I'm looking for. I think we go higher for that liquidity. I'm not going to be shorting this. You know, let's just play the charts, trade the charts look for higher prices. As mentioned in my previous video, that Bitcoin's about to pump above $30,000. I said, 
it's going to be a quick move to the upside. Be prepared for that. Go to the 10 minute mark where I start looking at these levels. Made it clear. Look for a very quick, fast move to the upsides. And well, that was very nice indeed as we got a very quick, fast move to the upside, which just ended in the most wonderful rejection as we've been waiting for 30,400. And look at that. We wicked onto those three highs back from July onto the monthly ending in the wick. For me, this was short, 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 short not going to miss that one okay when it comes to the biggest levels and the best swing trades i do not miss okay uh please don't take this as bragging please don't take this as anything else i'm telling you though i do not miss the biggest levels on the charts i do not miss the biggest trades and that's why you are here watching my videos every day because we give the best analysis we give the best trades and the best levels and that was that was one for the uh, back into the Hall of Fame, right? That big 30,400. Yes, it happened on some ETF news, but regardless, show me the charts. Tell you the, tell you, the, tell me, I'll tell you the news. I don't care about the ETFs. All I knew was that's the level I wanted to see. Wanted to see the rise. We got the rise. We got the rejection. That is short, 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 short. Well, if you missed that trade, you got to remain patient, right? And this is where yesterday, I was telling my team I've took zero trades today on Bitcoin. I'm going to wait for more data. I'm going to wait for a range to form. And that's where we're going to take our next trade on the next range. Well, this morning, 8 a.m., woke up. This was the range that we had. OK, so we've then got a range high and a range low. What can you do? You can look to long the range low or short the range high. So if you're confused thinking, oh, I've just seen a massive wick. What's the next best trade? Well, the next best trade is to wait for more data and wait for a channel to form and this was the channel that we had our range low our range high all we needed to do then was remain patient for the next best trade okay price came up to the range high where we rejected from with a swing failure pattern we formed an sfb we come back down we got a retest and we made our way even lower to where we are right now so you can see this is from the retest of the high from the high to the current price, it's around two and a half percent. From the retest to current price, around two percent. So you can see how you don't need to be stressing. Oh, where's the next bet? You know, where you know, I've missed the move. What do I do? I'm so annoyed. You know, there's going to be a lot of people in lots of different camps. You're either going to be in the camp of, oh, I'm so frustrated, I missed the long trade, or I'm so frustrated, I missed the short trade. I'm suck, I hate myself, oh, I'm so depressed. There's going to be that group of people for sure. And then there's going to be the group of people that are happy after remaining patient, waiting for these bigger short levels. OK, so you can make profits on the longs. We got a lot of champions who made profits on the long. OK, thanks to Eagle <laughs> who called 26600 support. Right. And then we have a group of people who made profit on the shorts from that thirty thousand dollar zone. So. There are people that are making money on longs. There are people that are making money on shorts. And you've got another group of people that are missing the moves. OK, so if you don't want to be missing the moves, you know where to be. <laughs> Chart champions. We are calling lows and calling highs. And that is just because we understand these charts like nobody else. Like very much. This is this is what we do. This is what we do. So what am I looking at next in terms of the what I would call the next best trade? OK, and also answering that question of, OK, are we going to be pushing up from here? Is this because I, I still see that possibility? Of course, I've mentioned the biggest supports down below twenty seven thousand dollars. OK, that bigger drop. OK, back down to that twenty six thousand dollars. zone. that for me is is the biggest support below us. OK, but you, you we, we cannot. This is trading. We cannot rule out. OK, another continuation to the upside. So that's that's an, another important factor. So I'm going to explain all of that to you, basically, of how we can be ready and waiting to take advantage of long trades. You know, so if we are looking for this lovely move, you know, a sustained move above thirty thousand dollars, how we can get into longs and take advantage of that. I'd just like to say one thing before I get into that, and that is really addressing uh, some of the comments here that I wanted to answer in, in the video. Uh, and it was actually, uh, well, I'll read out my tweet first, and then I, I want to answer this question for you. Again, that was, honestly, I never imagined when I started trading how much success I would have, like never in a million years. I, I, I never even contemplated this level of success that I've reached. But, you know, it took years of pain 
lots of losses in trading, lots of losses in life and practice. OK, but in the end, I got there. I exceeded the goals that I had that I really thought seemed impossible. And I will be forever grateful and feeling blessed to have this trader's life all from the charts, all from this love and passion that I have of trading is how I got here. OK, uh, and the question was, um, would you share what has been the biggest motivation and how you maintain discipline throughout the years? So I'm going to answer this simply. What was my biggest motivation? I would say my biggest motivation was actually through how I got my discipline. My biggest motivation was I wasn't necessarily motivated to make loads of money, but I actually just simply loved what I was doing. So I think you can, if you followed me over the years, you can see I, I truly love trading. So even when I was taking losses, I still was hooked into what I'd done. I've always been a gamer. So before I was trading 24 seven, you know, I was gaming 24 seven. I was hooked on the video games. I was playing Call of Duty every day. I was on League of Legends, you know, I've done it all. And for me, it was like a transition of going from the games and then getting hooked on technical analysis. So when I'm on the charts, I'm putting my Fibonacci's, I'm searching for harmonics, I'm doing my Elliott wave counts. For me, that is a video game in itself. OK, and money is the byproduct of doing well with my technical analysis. So for me, this is kind of an interesting one, but it is I was very disciplined because I was truly enjoying what I'd done. And I had a very good mindset of when I was taking my losses, I was very much focused on not feeling sad or disappointed, but actually using every loss as a learning opportunity. You know, I took it very serious. I'm recording every trade I do. I'm running statistics thoroughly. I'm really putting in all of my time and effort to become a good trader. That is because I loved what I've done. And also I'm ultra competitive. I don't just want to be here. I don't just want to compete. I want to be the best. OK, and that you could say is because X, Y, Z. I just want to be the best in what I do. I don't want to be second best. I don't want to be oh, this guy's pretty good, but this other group's better. You know, I want chart champions to be the best. I want to be the best trader. Um, and so because I had this passion and real love for what I've done, combined with that feeling of I want to succeed in this game, not because of the money outcome, but I can't, you know, I'm not going to say money wasn't a factor. Of course, money is a great factor and a great byproduct of doing things well. But whether I'm playing this video game trading for money or wherever I'm out in the park playing football, I want to be on the winning team. And it's as simple as that. So, <laughs> you know, in a sport where I'm not making any money, I still want to win. Uh, so, yeah, I would say that my biggest motivation was wanting to be successful in something that I loved. And so it's very easy to maintain discipline when you're doing something that you truly enjoy and you can see, you know, wow, if I stick to this, the amount of money that you can make in trading, I feel is absolutely mind blowing. Um, I, I don't think there's another profession in the world where you can make so much money so quickly. Of course, that comes with the, you can lose a lot of money very quickly as well if you don't know what you're doing. But when you put in the time, you put in the effort and you really master the charts, it is a money printer. You can come in here, take a trade, make a massive amount of profits. And I want to take that with also reminding you that I am taking losses. You know, over the past few weeks, you've seen me come on these videos and say, hey, I've took some losses here. But what was beautiful about this move up is even though, um, you know, my two trades prior to this were two losses. OK, so I'm taking around 0.5% loss, 0.5% loss. So I'm, I'm, so I'm losing around 1% off of uh, two losses in a row. And then this is a 10% move up and a 10% move back down. So I managed to capture the move up, gaining in spot and then shorting this back down. OK, so that is then a 40 percent increase okay because i've managed to or, or essentially what i want to mean by this is the two losses 0.5 percent followed by 10 percent up 10 percent down we can view that as two losses followed by 40 wins you know if you take that percentage and put it into one of each trade essentially i've gone two losses and then 40 wins in a row 
Okay, if you can kind of understand that thought process when we talk about the the big, you know, the big percentage of the the two or the, the essentially the two wins, but when you move it into percentage terms, it's kind of like two wins, sorry, two losses followed by you know forty wins. So you know, for me, it's it's all about the process. You know, we're gonna take losses, we're gonna lose trades. It's part of the game, but we keep those losses small. And when those winners come, the levels that we've been very patient for and waiting to take. Well, then they're massive wins and you know <laughs> we're very excited to take those wins it's obviously very nice indeed so yeah that's what i want to explain this video gonna be going on a little bit longer than what i thought right but uh i'm gonna try and wrap it up very simply here um it, I'll, I'll probably do another technical analysis for you shortly but um for me now as mentioned i want to get this back to the ta i always go off on those tangents <laughs> Um, yeah, we've got this local range to trade. For me, this is nothing out of the ordinary. This is nothing crazy. This is just our simple range. What do we look to do? We look to short the range high. Okay, we obviously got the rejection and now we're coming back down and we can look to long the range low. So that is the simplest way to, 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 to trade the market. Um, short range high, long range low. All I would say is the range low here, I've got two potential range lows. So the first one I've picked, the, the range high was obvious. That, that was clear as day. I had no, you know, potential difference. The only other potential difference I have on the range low is though, the low of the actual rejection down here, where this, you can see how the middle of the channel lines up really nicely with this SR here. So this is the other um, range that I'm looking at, which gives us more the move back down to that 27,500. I've talked you through before 27,500, really big support zone, and it ends at around 27,300. So it's around the $200 support, 27,3 to 27,5. Okay, you can look at it down to the round those single prints, right? So you have this bit of a support zone below the range low. Uh, but if we lose this support zone, that's where, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be looking really simply down back down towards $26,000. It's as simple as that. But if we can maintain support and this doesn't get lost, well, then we can simply, yes, acknowledge, okay, support has been tested, support has, holds, has, has held, could even hold here with a series of higher lows. If we actually break above the range high, okay, so if we do break out of this range high, well, that's where we can accept, you know, we are now seeing strength. We can look to fill that wick and move back up to $30,000 plus once more. I don't want to come in here and say, I know what's happening next. You know, I don't know what's happening next. And that's the beauty of trading. And that's the beauty of the market. What we do as traders is we use our technical analysis and we find high probability trades. We wait for very good levels. So I will always tell you, do you think I'm going to trade here, which is in the middle of a range? You know, I would say there's a 50-50 probability of pumping from here or dumping from here. Do you think, rhetorical question, this is a trade I want to take where I've got a 50-50 probability? Or do you think I want to take these types of trades, okay, where I've got a massive level of confluence massive level i've been waiting months for okay with liquidity on top of that which is a ultra high probability trade okay you can see how the importance of patience in this market is key you know um am i going to take a 50 50 trade or am i going to be taking trades where i'm looking at you know 80 95 percent win rate probability i hope it's it's obvious I'm not going to be taking trades at these middle of channel, you know, 50-50 trades. I want to wait for the best. Just as I want to be the best trader, I only do that by having the emotional control, patience, and, you know, I, I feel that's it. That's a lot of the, about being a good trader, having that emotional control. Uh, a lot of people gamble away their money. They don't take this seriously. I take this seriously. For me, every dollar is important. And, you know, it shows with my analysis and trading, I think. So, yeah, for me, I am waiting for lower. I'll wait for the lower of the channel. And, uh, yeah, see if we get that long trade set up. If not, I'll wait down for the lower test of support. I'll happily take a long at those zones. Um, and if we don't get it, then, yeah, that's why I'm really looking down towards 26K. If we break the top of this channel, then, yeah, I'll continue to look for a fill of those single prints and uh, another subsequent move to the upside for me it's it's simple right uh i will say that this short 
you know, if you did take that short, and if you are a champion, <laughs> so I know some champions do watch these public videos occasionally. Um, of course, these videos are mainly for for people that aren't in the membership. But you know, if you are a champion and you did follow along on that, um, you know, you have you're gonna have hit a take profit one by now, by the way. So uh, you know, <laughs> just to be aware of that. Uh, final words before I end are: I read every single comment. Honestly, the people that are pleased for me, the people that can see, I've truly made changes in my life to um i know this video probably hasn't been the best example but i'm really trying my hardest not to be this like egotistical like big-headed guy i i i understand maybe this video hasn't been the best <laughs> of trying to help that cause but sometimes i do uh get a little bit overexcited when it comes to the trades uh <laughs> It's kind of funny when it when I'm actually trading in the zone, I'm very disciplined, I'm very unemotional. But when it comes to making YouTube videos, yeah, sometimes I can get a little bit uh, carried away. But um, at the end of the day, yeah, I've I've really done a lot of changes uh, to try and be a better person. And so it's wonderful to see, um, you know, it's wonderful to see people seeing that, making people smile, getting people <laughs> profits. You know, that's what I'm here for at the end of the day. That's my purpose. Uh, in life is to teach you how to trade to bring you profits to help you change your life so uh yeah leave a comment down below if you're feeling inspired leave a comment down below if you are enjoying the trades rate lately even if you're struggling let me know and um you know let me know what you'd like to see because you know I'm, I'm gonna go the extra mile and i'm gonna help you out so uh yeah hit subscribe if you aren't already this is the place to be, Chart Champions. If you want to see more, you always know you can get it every day of the week. We got live streams. Oh, we got a new updated website. We got new updated glossary. We got new updated vaults. We got new updated journals. Everything that you need right now. We got a we got a new uh we got a new features built on our website. So that's even cooler for you all. Uh but of course the main thing you're here for is the course, which has got all of the educational content that you need. Uh, to become a successful trader and then on top of that when you want to be the best you can follow along with the best where you got live trading as well so yeah if you want to see more chartchampions.com i'm going to wrap there and say thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed let's wait for the range low and uh let's continue to make some brilliant profits together we hit 30k we got the rejection off our big level and uh i'm here to stay <laughs> Run right away to end. I love you all. Thank you all so much and goodbye. <laughs>